Okay, I'm back. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have played a bit of this game. No, I haven't. Have I? I might. Oh, I can't remember. It's very unlikely that I haven't, but. Oh, yeah, because. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to spoil it, but. Oh. All the suggestions for Lark work workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of working factory complex. Yet this facade, when we'll examined closely, it is near is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties. Quell the unease that pits my stomach and continue on my path. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrated as Mr. Yaham and Mr. Simmons' work works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Fueling pumps, volatile chemicals are in use. These okay. So let's check these other bits of the place. Nope, that one's locked. But this one, that one's locked too. And this last one? Open. Right, this one, locked. One's locked. Oh no. There's a note. Imagine this, eh? I'm between one day that we might think like a man. As if this was. As if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds in, like a pig, men and women upon all floors. Or upon all fours. Rutting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the street. Oh, that just sounds like they're spunking in the street. Yeah. Alleys and gutways running freely with careless spill of their conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of the lust. Oh, it is meant to be all sexualized. Bodies stretched within their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers by. <laughs> oh, that's a sight. That's a sp sight. Oh, hey! Spunk on your head! Spunk on your head! Good thing you're bold, you can use it as a fucking shampoo, mate! And yet, this is the condition that Badgage aspired to. No, this is not a machine we seek. Such an entity would be nothing less a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not cry. We shall not carve golds to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject baggage, so I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. Why do I have a feeling by pigs he means people who were like criminals? Not yet. Right, then. So. Also, I have a feeling that this machine started off just being for pigs and then it suddenly became for men too. And if it is criminals, at least it follows the theme of Amnesia the Dark Descent. So what does that say? Strangers are not allowed on this works. Inquiries to be made at the lodge. Oh, there's the car again. How in the blazes are we supposed to deliver these damn schedules even if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed new fangled trucks will only live will only run a fraction 
of the distant mile nag managed before running out of sinking gasoline of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it and the one in the storeroom is empty again. It can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, so that's so it says enough for a night, and I go to my bed. It's not like anyone needs access to that bleeding graveyard. Anyway, hey, right, if you'll get this, I'll meet you in a damson temple for a jar. All right, mate. I mean, kind of in the middle of recording a game here, yeah, but I'll go to. You know, I've never heard of this place, mate. I mean, you. I've never heard of you or this place, but you're offering me a beer, so on, what the hell? Why not? Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. I don't know what this is. Battery, maybe? What does the note say? Oh, holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route to the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around a fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however, almost as if a subtle I knew that I might consider this alternate entrance. This canister looks as if it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fortitude and holy reek. I will think, not think of that which I saw pass me in this cage. I will not gaze into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, an opportunity, perhaps, to gain access to St. Dustin's. Okay, so... Oh, what the fuck is that? Did you see that? Let's see if another one comes through. Uh... Here we go. Here, look. Where is it dead now? Is that an alive one? No, that's not. Okay. If you. You should have been able to see it. I saw it. Um. Yeah. If I saw it with my fucking lack of attention span, then anyone else should be able to as well. <laughs> You go in the fucking hole. Oh, yeah. So, is there something we can do with us now? Is that not what we need to do? Let's try that car once more. No, it's not going in, is it? Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's a really hard and every heavy single day. I'm gonna try going through here again. What is this? Oh, what is this is. Okay. Oh, because this is where you get it fueled up. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, I did. Oh, where the fuck did I go? Okay, right. Oh, sorry, we're after eating there now. We might as well. So we're meant to move all that stuff before, I think. But then again, how are we meant to know that? So, anyway. Let's move the bloody car, which is there. Oh, there we go, that fits better. Now, can I start it? How do I start the car? I'm in my mum's car, brum brum, fucking hell. Fucking hell, like. So I've put it in the car. Just need to start the car now. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, that made me bloody jump. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I might as well say the rest of the story. Alright, so basically there's the effect that they did where he's going through that attic because we've already seen the woman in black and she lives in that room um, you see a hand like a shadow hand and you think that you know it's her she's gonna come and get him but no it's not it's his hand that he's covering the light with which is a really nice effect and I'm so glad he did something like that because it is just so cool that they did because it really like made everyone think it. I mean, at the time I was like, oh god, I'm such a bloody idiot. But no, everyone thought it. But yeah, anyway. And then this guy, you know, he, he does all that work. I don't know if he finishes it or if he just calls it a day and says, nope, I'm not having anything to do with this case anymore. And leaves. Oh, that was open. It was fine. Um, this way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darling. Of course we can take it home. A stone eggs a stone mate. Sorry to break this to you, but anyway, so he goes home and he has he has an alright life. You don't see it, but you you know, it's said through a monologue. And then he has a wife or well, and then his wife his son, he's walking through town and he puts his son on a cart. I can't remember why he didn't get on the cart himself at that time, but he sees the woman again. And this was the fucking best bit, I think. She comes through the curtain, like, BAM! Fool her, just. <coughs> with her hands, like, craning slowly forward. And in front of her, right? Fucking terrifying as hell. And it's like really loud scream as well. It's like a deafening scream. The wires came up out of the ground whilst he lay on the grass asleep, like serpents they were. And they buried him. They buried into his ears and became his listening. But yeah, she's there, like really fucking screaming, hunched as hell, her fingers out wide, and suddenly the child gets killed. The child's threw aside from the cart and is dead. And then her wife dies of a disease, which is part of what the, you know, prophecy kind of thing is for her. And the, because this has been like him trying to get his story out about it from the beginning, and he's hired this like actor guy to help him with it. Before, like in between those scenes, he said, Oh, I have a surprise for you. And that's when the woman started appearing. 
so now that they've you know they've finished the performance or as the guy kept saying to him it's not a performance it's just a recognition so that I can sleep at night and won't be haunted anymore that's the day when he that's the next day when he says I'm gonna have a surprise for you tomorrow so I'm actually gonna stop here I'm just gonna finish the story and then stop um so he says he says oh how did you get her? how did you get that woman thank you for the surprise but how did you get that woman that was amazing but how, where did she come from and the old guy and this is like the oh my god holy shit says to him what woman there was no woman and then that's it that is end of the thing and there was also a build up to that woman coming out with a curtain as well it was like everyone talking about her saying oh she'll come after you she'll kill you she's gonna get you everything like this right and then it's that build up the tension for then ah! right uh, honestly go and see it go and bloody see it it's really good um, um, like the group that I went with because we went as a drama group kind of thing and holy shit there were people in that group who were still shaking and you could fucking see them shaking from the fear um, there was also a girl like covering her coat just from the first half there was in the first half there was only that like coat that horse and cart guy that I said about um, but yeah that's it and then the Kurt they only two people we bow, even though there are three actors in that thing. It was the old guy and the young guy. The woman in black actress never gets shown, but you can see her behind because basically it was a small stage and then there's a curtain and all this stuff behind it. Right? So it like when it was the light could be shone on it and you could see that room. But it wasn't actually a full part of the stage. It wasn't a part of the stage you could always see. So it's shone on and everything's there. Oh no no, it, you can just see her face. That's all you can see. Just her face. And then the curtain goes down, the lights come off, end the show. And, here's another thing. Not only does she not bow, she isn't even in the, um, not the manual. The, the like, brochure thing that you get when you see performances that tells you, like, who was in it and everything about the production, right? She's not even in that, which is holy shit, that is good. Um, but yeah, it was just really good. I think they could have improved it one way, which was at some... They should have done it again, right? Once they gone like, oh, there was no woman. They should have got two women and blacks to go behind the people who were at the top and the people who were at the bottom. Um, and got the woman, both women to actually scream, foot out, scream as loud as they can, right? Because then it's actually there. Before, for it, it was just the speakers. But then it was actually there. And they go black out. Maybe keep the screaming going so that the two women can get off. <laughs> Not get off, but leave the stage or leave the place so it doesn't ruin the illusion. Then lights come back on, then it's the end. But yeah, there was also a bit because we were at the top, we never experienced this. But the bottom, when she was walking up, because there were a couple of times where she walked up, you could feel her like stroking past you as she walked by. And it was because it was pitch black and she's the woman in black. You could see her. So it was just this like feeling of someone stroking your hair going past. Which, ooh, I would love to be down on that front row. Or that front, like, seating or whatever. Anyway, so, until next time, this has been Dark Lair with Amnesia. Uh, ooh, what's it called? Because it's not called Dark Sun, is it? Um, Dark... Mm, amnesia. A machine for pigs.